Some of the embossing wheels at this shop date back to 1908. The oldest wheels are made of bronze and the newer ones are made of steel. There are hundreds of patterns to choose from. The worker selects the wheel with the desired pattern. He mounts it to an embossing machine that was built in 1908. The worker locks the embossing wheel onto the shaft. He ignites torches that heat the embossing wheel. As the hot wheel revolves, it presses the pattern into the molded strip of wood. The heat releases moisture from the wood, preventing splintering during embossing. A drive wheel below works in concert with the embossing wheel to move the wood forward. Next up are rosettes that are used to accentuate the corners of furniture, windows, and doors. Using a sliding apparatus known as a sled, the woodworker delivers a board to the teeth of a saw. He makes straight cuts and squares to the desired dimensions. The worker draws lines from one corner of the wood square to another and from the opposite sides. The lines intersect at the exact center of the square. The worker clamps the square in a milling machine with the cutting tool aimed directly at the center. He activates the tool to make the first circular cut. He removes the wood square to check out the cut. The worker measures it to confirm that it is, in fact, dead center. He returns the square to the platform under the milling tool. This time, the cutter spins into the wood to make a wider and deeper circular cut. This further expands the pattern in a radial fashion. And it completes the rosette pattern. The worker examines the quality of the cut and measures the distance to the edge of the wood to verify that it's to spec. From a simple wood square to an elegant rosette, this job is done. The trim can now be used to make furniture look hand-carved without all the effort.